I think Lorenzen Stritt came from the work ethic that his father instilled in him. On the court, he was a beast. <laughs> Off the court, he was just a meek and mild individual. So really, basketball was Lorenzen's entire life, really. Lorenzen met his wife through basketball. Cheryl came into the picture his junior year of high school. He met her over the summer playing AAU basketball, and her dad was his coach. Golden brown skin, beautiful smile. She looked really good, very sexy. She was easy on the eyes. I don't think he had never, ever came in contact with anyone that looked like Sherrod. I mean, she had all the goods. We would say she knew she was fine, and you didn't have to tell her. There is a discrepancy about exactly when they started dating. Depending on who you talk to, she was in college when he was in high school. He's a junior in high school, and here he is dating a junior in college, you know? He thought he was big time then. They became friends, stayed in contact, and a few years later, that's when the relationship went from a friendship to a romantic relationship. It was almost like he was just blind with love, right? Yes. Yeah, that girl, crazy. She put moves on him like karate chop that they don't do in Mississippi. I was hearing that that Cheryl was wanting to get pregnant and to marry Lorenzen, assuming that he was going to be this great NBA basketball player. When she saw Lorenzen, she saw a future with a millionaire. Some of the people closest to Lorenzen see Shara as a gold digger. So, were you concerned? Very. He was listening on us, and I kind of like cooled down because I said, if I got to like her a little bit, you know, to keep my son close to me. You didn't try to disrupt the relationship because he loved her. Exactly. Deborah and Cheryl, they never got along. These two, they never liked each other. When she got pregnant, he was excited about it. You know, obviously his parents wasn't. I don't think this was a situation where she was chasing Lorenzen and eventually wore him down to be with her. I think, if anything, it was the other way around. So while we're in college doing the fraternity thing, she was about to give birth to Lorenzen Jr. at the time. In between class and practice time, he would go see his baby. Some of his friends and family feel that Shara has trapped him. She knew once she had a child, it was over, marriage, because he wanted to be in the house with his child. And at that point, you knew that she was going to get married to him. Yes. It was a couple years later after they got married. Of course, he had always told us that he wanted a big family. As Lorenzen's NBA career blossoms, so does his family. He has a son, Lorenzen Jr., a daughter, Lauren, twins, Lamar and Shamar, Sophia, Lawson, and a daughter, Sierra, who died tragically of SIDS. That could take a toll on any marriage, even a good one. Family was everything to him. For Lorenzen, his kids was everything to him. Um, he spent his whole life, and everything he valued was based on his kids and love for his kids. What were those early days in the NBA? What was the marriage like between Sharon and Lorenzen? Uh, it was good. The two of them were living well together. They were getting along. Yes. For an NBA player in a marriage, there's good news and bad news. The good news, you're making millions of dollars to support your wife and your family. But they had money. They had money, and they could go and buy things. And he loved cars, and she loved jewelry. And, uh, you know, they spent a lot of money. Just as fast as he was making money, money was being spent. The bad news, you're on the road a lot, and that comes with temptations. He's a ladies' man. He loved the ladies. The ladies loved him, too. And he would tell me every time the plane touched down, they'd be already there waiting. They were always trying to connect, trying to find out where the hookup places would be after the game. Now, do I know that he cheated? Yes, hell, I know. I was with him half of the time. When did they start struggling and why? When he caught her with that guy. He caught her being unfaithful. Yes. And that's when things started breaking down. Yes. 
the infidelity happen, to be fair, on both sides. So the marriage was complicated. I think what happened to the marriage was that, you know, they grew apart. Maybe there were some, some greed issues there. He would say things like, man, it's just always about money with her. Did they have a lot of fights? I've seen the evidence of some pretty bad problems. Told me the marriage ended because he didn't trust Cheryl anymore. She felt the same about him, but they were still going to try to find a way to raise these kids. At that point, how was his relationship with his kids? Fine. He said this. Cheryl is the one who filed for the divorce, not Lorenzo. But he was not going to fight for it because he wanted it over with as well. The post-divorce life between Cheryl and Lorenzo Wright appeared to be routine until that one July day when he went missing. At that point, we said bye. They get out of the car, I drive away, and that's the last time I see my friend. Georgetown 911, where's your emergency? And when police would begin to pull back the curtain on Lorenzen's private life, the city of Memphis would learn some troubling new stories about its hometown hero. There's another side to Lorenzen that you all don't know about. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.